वेलकम एवरी वन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली वेरी वेरी ईजी एंड वे आई हैव रिटर्न मैनी फेल बिकॉज मैनी फेल टू डू दिस ओरली दे एंडेड अप वेस्टिंग कपल ऑफ मिनट्स इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन सी दिस हैज टू क्लिक टू यू वेन यू एस्पेशली वेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एंट्रेंसिस और एनी ऑफ द ओलम्पियाड क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट हा सॉरी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव कैन ऑल्सो भी रिटर्न एज वॉट हा द होल रेस टू एक्स इक्वल्स टू एट and this instead of 8 i can also write this as what 2 raised to 3 okay and this 1 raised to 1 upon 2 the whole raised to x can be written as what 1 raised to x upon 2 raised to x equals to 2 cube now 1 raised to anything will always remain what 1 upon 2 raised to x equals to 2 cube so we can when i shift this number on the numerator i can do that by making the index negative Right, there is a rule in indices. One upon a raised to n can be written as a raised to minus n. Okay, so here instead of sorry, I forgot. This is two raised to three. Okay, so therefore I can say minus x equals to three. Therefore we can say value of x is nothing but what minus three. Okay, so I hope this is very very clear to everyone. See, while explaining also, I did not take more than ninety seconds. So obviously, when you have something like this, this is like supposed to be done at least two under thirty seconds. Okay, so for that, your basic concepts of indices and the basic knowledge of like you know what is half, what is like so, what is the decimal representation or fraction representation of zero point five. Zero point seven five, zero point two five. All that has to be there in your mind, like you know, it's just going to be out there. You know, you don't need to literally think on any of these things. Okay, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.